today I'm speaking with a single lady on a topic that I know is heavy on a lot of minds and people feel what usually happens in situations like the one we're about to discuss is that people usually go by what people around them advise, what they see happening in society. But some people realize that they need to make a decision for themselves because they know what they want and they will not be moved by the noise and they won't be moved by the winds. Yes. yes. So that is when you say, my Lord, in that sense. So I am here with a young lady named Ruth, and the topic is about having a child when you are desirous of being a mom, having a child of your own, and you don't have a man right now that is your boyfriend or fiance, and you're, you're not getting ready, you're not getting married soon, um, as far as circumstances right now, but you're desirous of having a child and you're conscious of your biological clock and the time frame that you have. I know that you want to be a mom and you want to have your own child to love on. And the question now is, what I really want to know is, could you share some of the different things that you've heard from people that you've discussed this week? Okay, yeah, thank you, Zo. Let me quickly start this by saying, I want to give this, this um, some background, right? So um, when I was living in Lagos, back in Lagos, I was hanging out with my friends at this nice joint in Lekki. And then we started talking about why we want, why we want children. None, need, none of us had children at the time. And then we started talking about why we wanted children. Um, someone clearly, one of us then, clearly said she didn't want children. And I, and I said, why? I was horrified. Said, why? And she said, children are this and that. You have to, they are, they are brats. You, you give them everything and this one. And then she cited examples of her sister's children and what her sister was having to go through for her children. And I said, okay, but you haven't given me. Why don't you want children? And then the other person said she was trying to make up her mind, whether she wanted children or not. And I left that discussion asking myself a question, do you want children and why? But at that time, this was about four years ago, three years, three or four years ago. But at that time, I couldn't answer the question. Um, I thought that I wanted children, yes. Um, but why did I want them? I did, honestly, I didn't know. Um, wanting ch children was what you did. You grew up, you, you finished school, you married and you got children, you had children. And um, honestly, I couldn't answer why I wanted children apart from uh, uh, why don't you want children, right? So, and um, I, I I think deeply it's um, it was funny to me because for everything I have ever done in life, I know why I, I'm doing it. So why couldn't I even answer to myself, right? So I tell myself I'm my own judge, I'm my own jury, I am my own company to impress, and I, I couldn't answer that question to myself. Why do you want children? And so well. That, that was, by the way, life continued to happen um, until I lost my mom, right? So um, the circumstances around her death and um, I saw the love she was surrounded with. It made me reflect around her life, the life that she lived and everything. She was a loving person and I saw how she responded with love. I saw how again, I thought back and I saw how my mom was the only person in the world that could tell me to you know, do something. My mom was my, my um, Nigerians would say mumu button, right? She was so full of love and um, there was a lot of love shared between us. And um, I understood certain things and um, I understood, you know, there is maternal love. There is the fact that there is a kind of love that, you know, can only be shared amongst family. I understood things like, I understood things like, you know, the practical ways, like the practical forms of you better have a child so that you have someone to take care of you, you know, when you're old. Although that doesn't work because if you have children that forget you, well, like, like we say in Niger, Oyo is your case. But yeah, I did think of, it made me think really deeply. It made me think really, really deeply. And um, finally, I could answer the question clearly uh, I could now answer that question, why 
you want children? I could answer that question for myself. And I was able to outline reasons to myself as to why I wanted children, right? Okay. Now, having identified that I wanted um, a child, um, and then I then started to think, how would I go about it? Explore options, um, egg freezing, no. Not, not, not that anything is wrong with it, but I'm not looking to freeze anything. I wasn't looking to freeze anything. Like, what, what am I freezing it for when I'm 100? So no, no, not egg freezing for me. Adoption, yes, adoption is great. Um, but um, at this time, there's nothing wrong. I don't know that I can have children, right? So if you can't have children, and yeah, there are many children waiting to be loved, adoption is great. But if you can have children, and um, it, with adoption, this child does not have your your biological, there is no part of you, your genetics, there's no part of you in this child. That doesn't mean you can't love them, all those arguments. You can love them, of course, and all that. But I would like to have my own child who is at least half a part of me, if I can. So adoption, uh, and then coupled with the fact that adoption is so much hard work. That is, if you do it the right way, I see people doing stuff. Um, again, I don't, I don't get involved in things that are not straightforward, but I, I really do see people doing stuff, going to carry babies from all these baby centers, and you know, we know about that. So um, coming um, here in Canada, adoption is a long process. So it wasn't an option for me, like, why would I go that route, right? So no. Another option, which now coming finally to answer your question, what did people tell me? That was your question, right? Yes. So, okay. So another option, which I found surprisingly that people were open, that I, re I had it from, you know, surprising sources, you know, supposed Christians and all that was to ju just go get pregnant for some guy. Like, are you a fine girl? Don't you have a guy telling you, don't, don't you have a guy you're talking to or a guy, just, just go get pregnant. <laughs> just, someone told me men are easy to sleep with, just go. Uh, and then they even cited examples of, ah, uh, that was what my friend's sister did and all that. And um, what surprised me about people coming up with this option was that they, they um, it came from unexpected quarters. Again, like I said, Christians, and again, like well, I, people who call themselves, right? Yeah, people, 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 who call themselves people who call themselves Christians, themselves. like it came from unexpected quarters. And I had it far too often than I expected. Like, for real, y'all are doing this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, so okay. I didn't share this with a lot of people. Um, I shared it with my yeah, people who were in my circle. So there were two groups of people I shared this with my immediate friends who are around my age. And um, and then I shared it with my older older friends and aunties, like you know, fifty years and above, mm -hmm. right? And that uh, you know, I was surprised at the reactions that I got. Um, immediate friends who were my my around my age, most of them said, "Okay, let, I will just divide them into three. One third of them said, "Wait, uh, how, is it that you've given up on marriage?" And I said, "No, no, I haven't." However, I have just separated these two things. They don't have to be tied to each other. Um, the second part where the part that says, why go through all that, all the, because it is a process if we talk about that. Why go through all that? <laughs> why not just go get pregnant for a guy? That, that was the second group. And then the third group were like, okay, okay, that's like the, the third group were the group that they are, you know, they said, well, I've known you for a while and you don't take crash decisions well if you say that is what you will do then i guess it is what it is right so the, these are the group the people that are around my age my friends for the people who are older these constituted that uh, these were like my older friends like you know yeah you know how you have older people mentors my aunties you know my mother's sisters and brothers uh, yeah, my mother's sister did say, um, well, if you say you want to do this, that's fine. But I don't think you should be worrying your head about the child. Don't ever worry about the child. But well, if you say you want to do this, that's fine. Um, and then don't there was another. Worry. Don't worry. How did she mean? Sorry. No, she, she meant that she felt that I was too young to begin to worry okay. about not having a child or not. Okay. Right. And then another older person who I thought because we're in the same house fellowship and all that. So I thought she would be absolutely horrified and all that. And um, so I told her anyway, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm telling you, you know, out of respect. So, so okay, for the older crew, I told them out of respect, right? 
because this is not something you want them to hear outside they, they come on facebook and they see you and your baby <laughs> right. or they what see you that, pregnant what are, you that you're going to do? well i told them that i'm going to start the process of having a child on my own and did you tell them by what means yes i did yeah which i did you? iui at the time what is that <laughs> oh my god IUI is interuterine um, fertilization, right? I don't know what that. Well, it's basically okay. where you have um, what, what where you have the sperm um, deposited directly in your oh, so you, your ovulation and all that is timed, and you have the sperm de deposited directly in you, and they, and then it forms a baby. That's what IUI is. Right. Yeah. So I told them out of respect, like these are the people we've been here, like. Um, my mom's sisters, my mom's elder brother, like I told them, just so they don't hear it outside all. Again, I'm not someone who does things like, I'm not a crazy person, right? So if I'm going to do this, they would know. And they said, well, they were all very, very much in support. They were like, yeah, I, I you know, they said at this time, you don't answer to anybody but yourself and God. If you have weighed it and this is what you want to do, then we totally think you should go ahead. So <laughs> these were the different types of reactions I got. So what you're saying, just to be clear, is because some people told you that you should just go and get pregnant by somebody, that anyone mm -hmm. who, who is friendly with you, that you can just go ahead and get pregnant by this. So what are you, but now you're talking about doing this process, are you and having this brand deposited inside you? So are mm -hmm. we talking, so you're talking about not sleeping with somebody to have this, you're talking about having it done. Um, yeah, but medically, there's a whole yeah. medical procedure where you use donor sperm. That's another discussion. Uh -huh. Did this donor can be an, um, anonymous or known? Uh, it's a whole process, yes. Okay, so that's what you, you opted for instead. Yes. I just wanted to make that clear because, okay, right. So then, um, so what did you find out when you went to, to um, investigate or research this process? What and what did you find out? Okay, I found out um, again. Because, like, these people are discouraging you because they felt, you know, you were taking things so seriously that these are sim simple solutions. And I don't worry yeah. about it. Wait, mm -hmm. wait mm -hmm. because you are a pretty girl. Uh, mm -hmm. you, are, you are someone that people would find um, to be worthy. So why don't you just, you're going to get a husband. And some people were saying, just get pregnant by any of, anybody who is friendly with you. You don't even have to tell them, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. You don't even have to tell so them. Surprise yes. them with the pregnancy, but you rejected all that. So anyway, so you must have. So you did some research on this sperm donor thing, and what did you? Find? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Of course. So I found out that you know it's a very detailed process. I must say that I was very impressed. <laughs> I was, I was impressed if I say so myself, um, because if you go. The first thing you would do, you do a lot of blood work and all that. Check your loads of blood work. Um, check your, and then you do genetic testing. And then armed with that genetic testing, you then begin to look for a donor. The, this donor must meet your, uh, genetic testing is just basically to know, but barring any, any um, for instance, there may be some traits in you that are recessive, like they're not showing right now, but may show up in a child. For instance, some people, okay, I'll, I'll use the one we know in Nigeria very well, like um, sickle cell. It may not oh. even be sickle cell. It may be something. The sickle cell is a bit serious, but there may just be some traits in you that you should look out for. It's not, um, it's not bothering your health right now. It's not affecting your health right now. Um, but however, if you get a partner who has this same trait and now produce a child, now that child is going to be in trouble, like I was told. So there are the genetic, um, you go for genetic testing. Um, after you do that, you do genetic counseling based on your results, you know, where they tell you this is this, this is that, you should look out for this, you should look out for that, should that. And then so armed with the genetic testing, you don't, you don't begin to look for a donor until you've done the genetic testing. And then armed with the genetic testing, you begin to look for a donor. You, you do that on a, on a sperm bank, by the way, they're, they're, loads of them you get to choose based on what you're looking for is a whole new topic this is a whole new this is a whole new topic right mm -hmm. but then armed with that genetic testing you then begin to look for a donor depending on what you're looking for um the, you you get to hear the donor you know speak not, not directly to you 
you know, why are they doing what they're doing? Why are they this? You get to check out characteristics. You get to check IQ. As a matter of fact, depending on the bank and what you pay for, they, they, all the information you need regarding this donor, it's there. And then there are two types of donor. There are anonymous donors where you will never know them. The child will never know them, not you. The child will never know them, but um, there are regulations. Um, that there are regulations against that now. I think every donor has to be open ID. Open ID just means that when the child is 18, they have a chance to know um, who, the, who the donor is, who their father is, as it were. And then there, again, depending on the site and where you go, there are some donors that say, okay, I only give, I'm, I'm only donating to social families. Some donors say I'm only donating to social families. So some donors only donate like maybe three times, maybe like you, you, you've, um, you, you, they were your donor before and then you're coming back for a sibling. Um, yeah, there is just so much. Um, I'm just saying that it's just so regulated. It's just so, it's not random, you know? People think that may, may, maybe a donor is some madman walking on the road or some random thing. It's not. It's actually not. You know, and when I looked at this process, I was like, I'm sorry, but this is even more detailed. Like, because I know some people, I don't know, you went out, you met some guy, you got pregnant for him. You don't know who this person is. You haven't done any testing. Maybe he agrees to marry you. You see that as an achievement, but you still don't have, you still don't know who this person is. So anyway, going through that process and all that, all that research and all that, I, I, like I said, I was impressed with the whole process. But however, I still try to compare it side by side, you know, because there's this question of um, how about someone you know decides to be your donor, right? Because people do that mm -hmm. as well, by the way. Mm -hmm. So you're not having an affair or anything. They, they are just, they, they are just your donor. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah. People do that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone you know being your donor, you're not having an affair with them, or or it's nothing. It's still well, sort of legit. Although I would say it's a bit dicey, but someone you know being your donor. So I consider that side by side. And then um, I joined a group. So so a group is um they call them single mothers by choice. I joined the group because again, when I do something, I go all out. Somebody, so in somebody my, just put a comment, say, well, why is she not showing her identity? She might just get what she's looking for on this program. <laughs> and what and what does this person think I'm looking for again? <laughs> no, that okay, they know that you that it's a child that we're talking about, but they also know because I said in the beginning that this is a single lady who right yeah. now yes. Yeah. So so I guess that this person ah, this person may be interested in knowing. Who is this person who is speaking like this? What if I'm interested in her? At least I need to see what she looks like. Okay, no, okay. So let, let me make this clear. Yeah. Um, sometimes when you see single ladies, it's not because they don't have any, anybody that they are talking to or telling them good morning. Let's make that clear first. Oh. Um, this is not a last resort, this is not a desperate resort, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, while I'm open to getting married and all that, um, it's I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't mean that um, I'm doing this because there's no man on earth or there's no man who I live in Canada oh, no, or no, there's no, no, no. no. I think I, I made that clear in the in the introduction. It's not because yeah, also, I know that there, I mean I know that you have men who are interested in you. If you wanted to get married last month, you could have. It is that you you don't have the person that you are willing and ready to marry to make a family with that person yes and i am not ready to jump into marriage just because i want to have children so i have decided to separate the two mm. yeah that is where i am now so um i i'm not sure i'm not showing my face because we i don't want us to divert from this topic okay right because it looks like we're already threatening to do that all right okay i i don't think my face I I could show my face is nothing to me, right? right? But um, I don't think I don't see how it adds to this topic right now. Okay. Okay. So sorry for that interruption. Okay. And what was I saying again? So you were saying that um, some, that okay, you... yes. And then I compared, you know, made it side by side, you know, uh, you know, actually, because at the, as a matter of fact, I had a lot of people saying this whole go get pregnant for a guy 
Yes. So being a very, how do I say, analytical person, yeah. I sort of put it side by side. Go get pregnant for a guy. Go maybe have someone you that, know. That's that's just not okay. Any there's no 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 no, no don't worry. No, stay see, you know, <laughs> yeah. I be, it's whenever I do something, there's something I do even in my life, pros and cons. Yeah. Pros and cons, right? You know, yeah. I didn't I didn't I write tell. this. I can tell, yeah. Yeah, I didn't write this, but I put it. So go get pregnant for someone, go find someone you know, and then um and then this um donor, you just use a donor, an open ID donor. And then the part about getting pregnant for someone, it just it was just against all my beliefs. It was just again, how do you this this is a whole human being you are creating based on deceit? This is a whole human being that the father wouldn't know about. And if the father knew, they would hate this human being. It was just, there was nothing. It was, uh, if I use my, my my little cousin, he sees something irritating. He says, ew. It was just ew to me. It wasn't. uh, Yeah, it wasn't something I wanted to think about at all. And then there was this option of, you know, people saying, yeah, you could have a friend do it for you or someone. I, mm, I thought (laughs) I thought about that and I was like, ah, mm-mm. Okay, for instance, if this person is a married friend, um, it would, would be disrespectful, you know, to do this outside the wife's knowledge. And yeah. um, I don't know. And then how, again, you are creating a whole human being, a whole human being. How do you explain to them that, you know, their siblings are there and, ah, again, it was, <laughs> I don't know, the complications were so much. But I didn't even want to discourage myself with the complications. So... I, I met a woman, I had a meeting with a woman who had done it before, so a white woman. You know, that, that again, I love I love how white people are very logical and very straight to the point and very, it is what it is. I don't know, w- w- white people, they have their wahala, right? But they are my kind of people, like it is what it is. They are like black or white people. Yeah. So someone introduced me to her, I had a meeting and she shared how she had her gay friend, in this case, her friend was gay, but he was willing to be a donor, but he said he didn't want to be um, involved with the child, which is clear that he never wanted to be called um, daddy or something. Yeah, but that he was that this was a friend she had known for how many years and all that. But then when she started um, explaining the complexities around it, so she said she had to she had a lawyer draw up a contract. You know that there are so many complexities around it. Like for instance, yeah, this person is a donor, not a father. But you know what happens tomorrow? What happens? She said the the contract was um I don't know how many page long. She said it was, and that yeah because the, there are some things that some things I don't have. Pre- precedence or something, the lawyers would understand what this meant. And some things really needed to be spelled out in detail that the contract was that and that and that. Man, by the time she finished explaining that, oh my, it was stressful. It sounded stressful. And she said, she said that really, that by the time she went through all that, that she told herself, oh my God, why didn't I just go, go and use a donor? Right? So that, that was her story. It's not that, that she regrets doing that, but she said, if you think that um this if you think that this is a bit um a bit easier you may need to think again and then when she was narrating all that i was like why why do you need all the contracts and all that she said she said something that struck me she said because you are being this is single motherhood by choice so you're going to so the fact that it's by choice you're not doing this carelessly. It means that you have thought about it as much as you can. It's by choice. It's not that you went and fell pregnant for someone. So it's your responsibility, you know, to think about this child and what's going to happen about them and all that. And I said, oh, interesting. Then I was in my research phase. You know, I was just networking with people, talking to people. I saying I was doing, I was, I was really, um, yeah, so... I think I've over answered your question. Maybe you should move <laughs> yeah, back yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah, someone would ask why, as a beautiful girl, a smart girl that you are, who is doing well by herself, why? So, someone actually said that to you, right? That it, it will not, be mm-hmm. it would be difficult for you to get a husband. So, why are you? just not deciding to wait like and i said i when i when i heard that i said you know the the thing that we see in life is that there are lots of contradictions that the very people that you think are going to be having men swarming 
you know, them um, who are, who you find that they have a lot of value. She's, who she's very beautiful or she's very smart or she's uh, very comfortable financially and all that. At, at first glance, people will think that this kind of person would have a lot of people that really want to marry her. And that's what you would think ordinarily. But when you really think about it, my observation is that these people actually have a struggle because it's it's not what you think has made them so attractive is the very thing that makes them even more difficult for men to feel comfortable with taking as wives because there is a feeling of that threat. So I want to know. So when this when this lady and who was that that said that to you? I'm someone, maybe, I don't know, I don't remember, maybe a friend. Yeah. So, why didn't you listen to that? Mm. Well, I said I wasn't, like I said, I I have no, nothing against marriage. I do believe I'll get married when I meet the person I want to be married to. I had, I had nothing against all that. The only thing I decided to do was being a very practical person, lo looking at the years you have to work, looking at, you know, did this child will go off to college, looking at where you are right now. You have all this time and money. You're doing nothing with, <laughs> really. And you need to get your life started. So it's, um, I, how do I say this? Yeah, and coming back to your point of, of yeah, yeah, sometimes the traits that really make you attractive would um, discourage, uh, um, per permit me to use the word, anybody's, it, it discourages, it's not the person for you. And again, permit me to say that many times I've seen this happen all the time. Women choose partners just so that, ah, uh, just, just okay, they call it settling down. They call it if we're Igbo, Igbo, we say it's 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 Igbo. No, 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 as, as if my legs are outside before. Perfect. I was, yeah, women choose partners. You know, I want to start having children, I want to. They know many Even times that this that. is not the person yeah. for me. Yes, yeah. they know. So, again, being an authentic, an authentic person, my siblings are married, my younger sister is married, right? Yeah. I, it just hasn't happened for me. And I'm not about, if I wanted to explain that, that's another episode, right? Yeah. It does happen. It just, that hasn't happened for me. And um, if it's not it, we know when it's not it. That's the problem. But we lie to ourselves. Yeah. That it well, hasn't yeah. happened for me. Yes. Right? Okay, so that's another topic that we're going to. Yeah, that, that's another, totally another topic altogether. That mm -hmm. it, and um, you know, they, they try to tell you know women everything. Maybe your list is too long. You are looking for someone who just fell from the sky. No, I'm not <laughs> okay, looking don't for start that now. Don't no, start no, that no. I'm not. I'm not studying that. But I know if you know, you know within you what you are looking for. Now mm -hmm. they are they are they are, they are the flippant things like he must do this, all that, can some all that. Okay, I call it flippant, but for someone it may not even be flippant. That's fine. But there are some things okay. that you know that if these things are not there, you are not moving an inch. And for me, well, it hasn't happened. And it is what it is. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. So let's let's actually um, end this particular episode here. I'm going okay. to take that, that topic that you, you, you entered just now. I'm going to take it um, to um, our YouTube channel. I'm going to put the... The link in the comments and i'm just going to say that it's the, it's the life that we're living a lot of um, hypocrisy people who are supposed to hold certain values said to you that you should just get pregnant without letting the man know get pregnant with someone who is friendly with you so that you can have what you need and don't let him know that this is your plan and then tomorrow you just show up and you have a child by him or maybe to even keep a secret from him the one thing that I, I keep tapping on is people do not understand what it means for a child to, to be deprived of a relationship with their parents. When you deliberately do that, like if you go and have a child with someone now, what are you even going to say to that, to that child? You're going to have a child with someone and he knows that you deceived him and then there's a problem and he doesn't want a relationship with you and that child. How how do you, how do we justify what we're doing to the psyche of a child who is growing up feeling that my father doesn't want me or my mother doesn't want me? So we make these decisions out of our own selfishness. What I say is that for all the problems that we have in life, 
It is simply about not treating the next person as you would want to be treated. Because if you can start by thinking in anything you're going to do, would I want to be treated this way? I think that way you will know whether or not you should go ahead and do what it is that you're doing, is the bottom line. All right, thank you Ruth for being with us on this. I'm going to put it in the comments and then let's go over and discuss um, that other topic about lowering your expectations or desires just so that you can be married. I know that men and women are doing this well. Thank you everyone for being with us on this episode. I'm going to put the in the comments the link so you can join us for that next topic. All right, bye for now for a few minutes. <laughs>